Hey guys, what is up? Lola Scouts and Wizard here, and today uh, I'm going to be giving you some life hacks on Halloween. Because Halloween is coming up, and now we are in the month. We have 30 days to get you guys ready for Halloween. And, and trust me, you'd be better off going. My family has a tradition that if you're older than, I think, 10, you have to do a trick. And that's a really fun thing. So, hack number one is if you're if you're going trick-or-treating, just in case someone else is like this, have a trick prepared. By a trick, I mean like a cartwheel or singing or a talent. Don't, like, trick them, like, steal their candy and say, Mmm, my candy, there was my trick, I stole the candy, can I have some candy? Don't do that. Like, prepare like a trick, like a cartwheel, or a singing act, or... Or, my mom actually said that there were a few people who did handstands, they sung, they acted. There was a lot of things last year, and it was mind-blowing how many, like, I wanted to do this year. This next one is more for, like, those who are wear gonna wear face paint on their face. I'm not gonna show my face, but... Yeah. So... Oh, a very good thing to do is wear foundation. And the reason why is this will protect your pores from, um, like from, you know, the face paint. Because if this gets in your pores, it's made for the skin. And even though face paint is also made for the skin, it's also, you have to remember, it's paint. This was supposed to be, this was made for like daily use. Face paint you don't use every single day. So, oh, well not like daily use, but you get the point. So what you can do is you can put a little bit of this on, on you know, splotch it on your face, rub it in. And then maybe put some, and if you don't like a like cream, put some of this over it. Blah, 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 Or do a mix of both. I've, I do a mix of both because my skin is normally oily, and even like the most matte, even the matte ones aren't really matte, they're kind of shiny. And if you're asking for a brand, I would suggest Maybelline New York for your foundation this year. Um, have makeup remover ready, like the wipes or even, even baby wipes. Have them ready, have like a face wash, like a face is cloth ready. You know, so that you can wash your face paint off at the end of the night, so that you're clean for bed, and you don't and you don't wake up with with a clown face on your pillow. You don't want that. That happened last year. I forgot to take off my baby makeup. I went to bed and I woke up and like half my face, like the black eye was like like oh uh, like almost on my neck. Like there was white in my hair. It was just not good. So. Have some washcloths ready for you and your guests because you might have guests over. Um, this next one is is not very obvious because as um, a lot of people think, oh, I should wear a sweater underneath my costume. Not a good idea. It doesn't look good normally. Or maybe they think, oh, I'm gonna wear my wind. Sorry, I had to grab this. This is my fidget toy. Yay. Um, or they think. And I'm gonna grab my winter coat before I go out. Don't do that. An easy thing to do is either go to a store and buy a skin colored shirt or even ask your mom or your dad to make it. My mom, last year, she made a skin colored shirt for me. Not last year, two, like three years ago. I was Elsa from Frozen. And, you know, Elsa has like the V, the v neck, the, the, not really spaghetti straps, but. She, her dress doesn't have sleeves on it, so what my mom did was she made me a skin-colored um, shirt for underneath my dress. And no one even suspected a thing. Another, this one's another one that's not very obvious. Don't go to the big towns. You might think go to the rich communities because they have like the king-sized arrow bars or the king-sized, like, even the king-sized like, chocolate bars in general. Really? You're you're gonna be like seriously? Halloween to me is about bite sized candies that you get that you try and the and what you try to do is you try to save your candy all year to see what survives, what doesn't. 
We had a lot of lollipops last year. Don't know why. But anyways, is don't go to the big towns for two reasons. First of all, king size does not mean best chocolate. Normally the king size candies that they'll get are like the arrow bars or is in like the cheap candy. And of course arrow bars okay, maybe you like them. I'm okay with them, but they're not the best though, really. I know I personally would prefer a Kit Kat, a mini Kit Kat, or even a mini coffee crisp. Coffee crisps are good, man. Over an arrow bar. Now like a king size arrow bar. The small arrow bars are like little snack size ones, right? Those are good. I like those because they're just two little pieces of chocolate. You break it in half, you eat it, done. That's all it is. And only and that just means that you'll have self control. You won't just shove them in your mouth and gulp them down. So that's why I think that bite size are better than king size. So don't go to the towns for that. And also don't go to the big towns because if you go to the big towns, everyone's probably going to think the same idea as you were. Go to the big towns to get the big bars. Right? But if ev but if everyone goes to that town, they're going to run out of candy so fast that you're going to get there. It's going to be like none left. You're going to get the runt. Like if, like if there's people who are asking Coffee Crisp or Arrow or like Kit Kat or... I'm trying to think of another one. Or Nesquik. Nesquik bars do exist. They're not that good. But anyways, like which one would you want? Uh, most people are going to choose either the Kit Kat, the Arrow, or the, or the, um, not the Nesquik, the other one that's not the Nesquik. Coffee Crisp. Right. So, oh, and you're going to get stuck with the sad little Nesquik. The, not even little, the king size Nesquik bar. You're going to eat a king size Nesquik bar. What is wrong with you? I'm just kidding. If you like Nesquik bars, I don't really care. Comment down below if you like Nesquik bars. I don't really, like, I don't really care about the chocolate. So don't go to the big towns thinking that you're going to get big bucks. Because you probably aren't. Go to the smaller towns, get the small, because you because, like, a lot of people don't get to see kids on Halloween because of the smaller towns. Um, so if you go to the smaller towns, you may get more. More of less. Less is more, more is less, and everything in between. Unless we're talking about chocolate, then more of the little ones are better. But size doesn't matter. Of chocolate bar. This last one should be common sense, but a lot of people don't have the sense to do this. So I'm just gonna say B Po Light. If you are not polite on Halloween, you know, I will personally find you. I will come to your house. And I will take every single piece of your favorite candy. I'm just kidding. I don't know where 90% of you guys live. But anyways, especially you, Dane. Don't know where you live, but I want to. I want to go to your house, but I can't. But if you're rude and you live in my town and I know where you live, I'm going to come to you. I'm going to take every single piece of your favorite candy if you're rude. Trick or treat is the saying that you're supposed to say when you like are asking for candy, right? Trick or treat. It pretty much just means, can I please have some candy or give me candy, please? Like It's like a please thing. If you go, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, that is so rude. Don't do that. Like, it may be fun to joke around in class or, like, with your friends about it, but don't go to someone's house and do that. That is so rude. Because as it kind of sounds greedy when you finish the song. It's like, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, not too big, not too small, just as big as Montreal. Like, what? So, the simple thing to do is say, trick or treat, please. Or just... Even just say trick or treat and say your thank yous, say your hellos, uh, say nice to see you, how, like, how are you? Like, if you know them, like, say, like, how are you? Ooh, oh, good. And I hope you have a happy Halloween. Like, always say happy Halloween, no matter who it is. Say happy Halloween. Um, say thank you. And don't do the trick or treat, smell my feet thing. I will come to your house. I will steal every single 
piece of chocolate you have. I don't care about the, the, the necklaces or the ring pops. No, I'll just take the chocolate. Anyways, that's it, guys. I hope you please listen to these, especially that last one. That last one's important as frick. Because you might actually get lesser candy if you're that rude. So anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. And I know I have two gray stripes on my neck. That's an accident. And I forgot to watch my neck. But anyways, this was the first of many videos to come for Oktoberfest. Okay, bye!